Next is to learn how to move objects in your 3D space. Your 3D space has a two-dimensional work plane that by default is this blue square that you see in your 3D world. It represents the X and Y coordinates in your space. As you can see, X is going to be left and right amongst this work plane, and Y will be along the forward and backward space of the work plane. Z will represent up and down above or below a work plane. So when if I select a, an object, click, hold, and drag left and right, I am moving along the X axis. If I drag up and down, I'm moving back and forth along the Y axis. I can also constrain axis by holding shift. So if I hold down shift and click left and right, I will only move along the X axis. If I move up and down while holding shift, I will only move along the Y axis. I could also move up and down by clicking this little tiny black arrow that appears above selected objects. You might have to zoom in or zoom out to see this, but it exists everywhere along every subject. You can also rotate to see it a little bit better. That arrow will allow you to move along the Z axis. If I click and hold it and drag up, I move above the work plane, or down, I can move down or below the work plane. Again, it is constraining to the Z axis even without holding down the shift. Another thing I can do is add a new work plane. There is a work plane tool here in the upper right hand corner. And if I click that, it allows me to hover over any other object and redefine where I want my work plane. If I select along this side of this Y, a new yellow temporary work plane has been defined. And if I click and drag my object, I am now going to move along the X or Y of that new work plane. You can also see that my Z has also been redefined. And I can grab this arrow and move it up or above that existing work plane. To go back to the default work plane, simply click the work plane tool and then anywhere outside of that existing old work plane. That's all you need to know about moving.